Like you're like the very first person that I've spoken to who has not seen Stroud of Compton. <laughs> Like the only person I've literally watched it like 20 times. <laughs> wait, wait, listen. Yeah. I just wanted to ask you, yeah, why, why have you not gone to see that movie? Time, bro. And I'm, I know I'm, I should be, I should watch it. I want to, I just don't have time, bro. And I, I don't have time for myself, honestly, because I, all I do is work and work on music if it if it doesn't have anything to do with serving my purpose I, it's hard for me but one would argue like that's when rap changed right in the 80s yeah. late 80s at least you know everything was going on in south central la with a uh, crack the crack epidemic and reaganomics and and this is the music that we listen to today is kind of derived from that culture that happened you know it yeah. just changed the face of rap so like I mean, don't you think it, it could inspire you? Cause like for instance, just now I just played Dope Man for you, yeah, and it inspired me uh -huh. musically, straight up. So you know that's something you might want to look at that might give you some type of inspiration. Um, yeah. <laughs> now that you put it that way, it should give me some inspiration. I guess it's because for some reason I see it as entertainment, entertainment that will inspire me. You know what I mean? Like I don't even I don't even watch like critically acclaimed movies that are supposed to like you know stir up some some inspiration for me. I'm just always working and listening to new sounds to you know to inspire me to keep it moving. But I should. You're right. I should. I just to be honest, it's just time. Mm -hmm. And maybe I have maybe I'm I'm bad at time management. You know.